on fruit and everything. All right. So in this one, you are making a road map. You're blazing a trail through this blank space using what you see in the still life, picking out only shapes. When do you put the, you work until the shape comes, is that what you're saying? I think that's, that's the ideal way to do it. If you can make that happen, I would love that. <laughs> <laughs> We've done it before. I know. Uh, understand what you asked, Jess. Should I, should you do the, make the, the fruit spheres appear, not by drawing them purposefully, but by drawing the spaces around. And yes, it's a wonderful brain exercise to do that. Somehow it helps make things look brighter than if you just drew that sphere. And so give it, a, give it a try. All you're doing is becoming familiar with this still life. You want to do this still life to the best of your ability using the light and the color and the drawing that you know. So the more you get to know it, the better off you are. It's like marrying somebody you don't know. Uh-oh. I want to get into that. <laughs> so make certain that you have mapped out the territory in both positive and negative shapes, which is what you're doing now. It's a very interesting abstract right now. Very. Mm -hmm. So now you're looking for those little pieces that define where one fruit meets the other at the bottom or at the top. Maybe it'll jump off the paper in a minute. 